We begin tonight with a shakeup in Ontario public health. The province is replacing its top doctor, even though the COVID-19 health crisis still isn't over. Dr. David Williams was always set to retire, but he delayed his departure because of the pandemic. And critics are wondering, why now? Our Ottawa correspondent, Mike LeCouture, is looking into this. Mike? Well, Robin, the news of Dr. David Williams's departure has Ontario opposition MPPs asking a lot of questions about the timing and the reason behind it. A whole bunch of red flags went up. I mean, uh, what's going on? The Ontario NDP health critic was blindsided by the news, especially since Dr. David Williams had indicated he was willing to push back his February retirement date and stay I'm on here. until September. Um, France Jalina points out former General Rick Hillier was hired on a short contract to handle Ontario's vaccine rollout, but he decided not to stay on longer. And as the vaccination had not even reached a million Ontarian, there he was gone. The Ontario government did not respond to our request for an interview, but in a statement, Health Minister Christine Elliott thanked Dr. Williams for his years of service and praised his work. Premier Doug Ford has often done the same, but he hasn't always been on the same page as his chief medical officer of health, most recently on children returning to school. It'd be great if the uh, students, in my mind, could be back in for those three to four weeks before uh, the summer break. So we want to be very, very cautious. The science table has uh, said that we open the schools, these numbers are going up. To some infectious disease experts, there was often a disconnect between Premier Ford and Dr. Williams. Even though we were told that a lot of the evidence was, uh, a lot of the decisions were based on what the science table was saying or other experts were saying, I didn't see evidence of this in many of the policies. The Dr. Williams' replacement will be Dr. Kieran Moore, who is Kingston's Officer of Medical Health. They've only had three deaths in that entire region related to COVID-19. And really, that's a testament to his leadership. Doctors Moore and Williams are expected to work side by side for the next few weeks to ensure a seamless transition. And Dr. Williams' last day is June 25th. Robin. Mike Lickator in Ottawa. Thanks, Mike.